I'm limited by the technology of my time. Hey there, today we're doing a dive into the most requested feature that players have annoyed the devs of Banload since, well, its original announcement, co-op. So let's be honest here, this has been in demand since the release of Warband, I should know. I was there on the forums crying about not having co-op. <laughs> And now, with the console release, these demands for co-op have only skyrocketed. I mean, what's better than conquering Calradia? You know, it's conquering with your friends, and it's completely understandable. If you were a developer, wouldn't you want to add these features that are most in demand? Now, some of you are saying, Hold on, Rito. Didn't you cover this before? And why, yes, I did. Back when I had a microphone that could be mistaken as a World War II radio transmission. But even then, I only looked really at the mods and only skimmed. Now we're actually trying to figure out the why. Isn't it possible? It's just not. Why not, you stupid? So, why not? They said in the past that they were looking into it, but with a feature this in demand and this big, why didn't they start as part of the project? It's been said that one of the issues may have been design, in that they didn't want to break the game pause in. This to me makes very little sense. As you've seen in Bandled Online, this works just fine with everything else being able to continue in the background. And a lot of you are probably typing in the comments ideas how this could easily be worked around. You know, you could slow down the game when the player's in battle. You can keep the game just running normally. You could pause the world map and let everyone else join as normal soldiers in the battle. The workarounds are endless, and yet they didn't address these concerns. Now, on the forums years back, Warband released, and players were making suggestions for this and even made a mod for Warband where players were just part of the party as a companion called Battle Time. And now you're probably wondering how did make a, how you know how did modders make co-op work, but Tay Worlds can't? Good question. So this is how you know Battle Time worked. Player 1 would start an encounter on the campaign map, he would then host a battle, and then player 2 would join said battle. And that's all it was, a normal campaign where a second player would just be able to join the battles and you know play along with the player. So Tear World certainly had the heads up on the demand, and their current answer to it is we spent a lot of time looking into this but it is unfortunately not possible at this point to retrofit it into the project in a way that would achieve satisfactory quality and that they may explore similar ideas in future products. Now this to me anyway isn't truthful to be honest. It's simply to let players down gently with a oh they want it in but they just can't do it now it's too late. But you know it was a very early decision not to include co-op because they definitely had the heads up you know from the community that it is a huge feature everyone wanted. Now, my leading theory, I can't stress it, it's just a theory, guys, uh, is that they wanted to focus, you know, and to be fair, it was a focus of a lot of other companies at the time, was to um, develop the competitive multiplayer scene. So, you know, they wanted to get in with CSGO and League of Legends. <laughs> Now, Resident said last month that a dev told him in an interview that they didn't include it because it'll mess with the Mountain Blade experience. You know, the co-op. Well, nothing shows the Mountain Blade experience like empty CS score lobbies and Call of Duty hit markers. Now, this may seem like me just hating on Tear World, but I honestly love them and the game they've created. They've said they'd be looking at the community and what content they'll produce next in the game, and with enough demand, anything could end up in the pipeline, so who knows what the future holds. But currently, I think they focused way too much on competitive multiplayer, and if you, you know, if you try searching for a game now, you can end up waiting up to 8 minutes in queues, you know? And there's like, you know, thousands of players playing, but it's all in single player. So it just seems like a major mess up for the on their part now if you made it this far thank you so much for watching it's really appreciated if you like this video drop a like if you hated it drop a dislike and let me know in the comments how i could do better i'll uh, see you guys next time thanks